Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to clean the wheels and bearings out of your penny skateboard. So the tools that you'll need is some small screwdrivers, the wrench that or spanner that'll fit your nuts, the a small hammer or pliers. I'm just using my multi-tool. Then a can of inox or grease or something. And let's get started. First step you want to do is take the wheels off and remove all the bearings. Alright guys, due to a bit of wet weather, we've had to come inside and redo this. After you've removed all of your bearings out of your skateboard wheels, you're going to want to use your small screwdrivers to pry out this small brass ring, only one side. Mine are really dirty, so I'm going to have to clean mine first. Then you've got to pry them all out and then rinse out the inside. Once you have removed all of these brass tops off your bearings, now what you've got to do is rinse them out under some water to get out all of the, um, this dirty rubbish. Then after that, you spray it with your inox and, or your grease or lubricant, and you're ready to put them all back together and Stick me yeah, and as you can see your back wheel bearings will be a lot dirtier than your front wheel bearings Just a fact to keep in mind Meaning your back wheel bearings won't spin at all Or very little And then your front wheel bearings will still be half decent Once you finish that, you're going to want to dry them. You can either just dry them by hand with a cloth, or if you've got an air compressor, it makes it 10 times easier. After this, they should be looking nice and clean. If not, just do this process again. Now what you want to do is spray each one of these with your can of inox. Make sure you give it a good shake first and then spray it. After you've sprayed each bearing, just give it a little spin, make sure it spins nicely and you don't hear any of that grindy sound. If you hear any of that grindy sound, just wash them out or use a bit of compressed air to blow it away. All your parts because they normally get quite dirty as well. Once you've done that, give your wheels and these parts or your trucks a good clean and you're ready for the next step. The next step is to punch in these little brass metal rings back into the center of your bearings. The next step is to insert all of your bearings back into your wheels. Before you do this, you want to make sure that they still spin nice and freely. One thing that you want to make sure that doesn't happen is it's this little part that sits in between them both doesn't flip over like that. 
you want to be able to see the whole way through it. Sorry guys, my iPad's going flat, so now I'm going off my phone. This is what I was talking about guys. You don't want that to flip over inside. Final step is to put on the wheel. So first of all, you get your small washer, put that on the rod first. Then next step, you want to put on your wheel, you want to make sure the little nusher nut thing in the center is lined up and then push that on. Like that. Then take one more washer, sit that on there. Then put your nut. And there you go guys. That's how to clean the wheels on your penny. I'll have a testing video with my dogs pulling me along. Be sure to check that out. That should be coming out in the next week or two. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.